Hello and welcome to another episode of Baller Skate. And let us just get in. I honestly forgot where I was. Seriously, I forgot. I believe we were uh, somewhere on the ground. Right? And now I have to go to some sort of spooky place, I think. I don't remember. We'll see. Dark to tell. Oh, what this is this? You mean to reach Moonrise? And I've orders to help you. The path to the towers is drenched in blackness so deep, even a torch cannot quell it. Yet the cultists found a way to move freely. Whatever this method, you must claim it. A cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak. I've readied an ambush. Say the word, and we fly. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harper's with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. Like there was a struggle here. Vicious one, I think. No one buried their dead. Exactly the sort of battle I live to fight. And the sort made even more thrilling with a hot hearted tiefling at my side. <clears throat> we bring more earth to your church every day, my queen. Your followers are legion. Go. We'll wait for your signal. Your faith will stand ready, Majesty. Soon we march. Soon the world will bow to you. Here, web ass. Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? The Dryder's eyes cut through the darkness, locking on you as your parasite squirms with excitement. Your minds connect, and you hear a voice whispering to you. The Absolute, or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the darkness. I'm one of your true souls, my queen. How have they survived? Persevered. Ah, of course. You bless them too, my queen. 
queen? Wh where is the lantern? Did I not serve you well? <laughs> Very well. If it is your will, you can have it! What do you mean, go? We can't go without you. The shadows will tear us to pieces. This is not Her Majesty's will! If it is Her Majesty's will... You can't be serious. You know what's out there. If it is Her Majesty's will, then we shall walk! She will protect us. She... She must. believe it if I hadn't just seen it. Nicely done. Now let's see what we've got here. One less blight in the darkness. A thousand more to conquer. At very least. For every beast we fight, shadows Don't give me God, trouble God. now. A victory is a victory. Our heads are intact. Splendid. Not one arrow fired. Go on, check the drider. The lantern's yours for the taking. More cultists might still pass. Then we'll gut them like the rest. We shouldn't hang about. I need a quick word. A victory won with words is a victory all the same. Hold your nose and uh, check that corpse. The lantern should still be on it. of the Emerald Enclave, casualties in the war against Catherick Thorne years past. Crates and caravans. The Tower Toll House, surely. There might be something useful there. Seized goods and the like. and gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. 
you notice a tiny pixie trapped within. These fey creatures are infamous for their trickery, sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh, please! Oh, golly me, oh my! You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. Trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? Sure I can, but will I? Yeah, sure, why not? Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the Shadow Curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. Pixie. Curious little thing. We do get to see some interesting things. Almost makes them a little peril worth it. Almost. already, haven't you? Move on with your life! position.
Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. What is that? That is insanely good. What do you have? Yeah, that's pretty bad. What do you have? You have... Can you wield that? That's the interesting question. Uh, not with martial weapons and box swords. Okay, that's fine. Are you proficient? Nah, uh, you're not proficient. You have already a legend, do you have that? Yes, you do. That's fine. Do you have a shield somewhere? Broken lantern, no, no, no. Why do I not have that, by the way? Hmm. Uh, hmm. <laughs> That's fine. Okay. Soldier? I get the shield later. Does anybody else have some good shit? Probably not. But let's check anyway. It's fine. I can sell it. Open up. Good here, I hope. Okay, Never that's pretty good. Path. Empty, empty, empty. Okay, perfect. Oh, hold on, hold on. Wrong direction. This direction. Moonrise Towers at last. We're close. I can feel it. The Absolute. Its power is strong here. Time's over. So, perk up your ears. You and the pup have a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil, and a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting them out. Questions, questions! You're wasting my time! Let's see about getting your priorities fixed. Ahem. <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses. And he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. You either mount a quick rescue, or you condemn Will to an eternity sizzling in the hells. Sounds like an easy choice to me. Mazora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash?
you recall an old incantation from a children's story said to void a devil's contract. Abi diabole et nunquam ready. such a fearless display of sheer idiocy. <laughs> Bravo. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done. Not before. Clause F. Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favour only upon soulbearer's fulfilment of related obligation. Now... Get to Moonrise, and do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. That's far enough. Thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, one blessed like myself. What news, true soul? General Ketherick's advisor went off on a field trip. Zarel's in charge till he gets back. You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. Let's hope this Zarel likes what we have to say. Praise the Absolute. I itch to draw my weapon and gut every last one of these cultists. There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover Another the secret truth. of the absolute. The disciple will want to see you through the main doors. We are each of us threads in her. Well, Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me, and here you are. Carlac, isn't it? Now there's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. She came dressed as a novice, gave me three soul coins, said I could sell them if I wanted, but if I kept them for your friend, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. Sure, but she did have a condition. For every coin you take, You've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your Flo did some devil woo-woo and stuck them in my head. Couldn't forget now if I wanted to. Do you want the coins or not? First coins got the soul of a woman named Mavery. She was born to a cruel mother and a violent father and three evil brothers, all named Balder. She never knew a day of love in all her life. When she was a girl of 15, she sold her soul to Tiamat in exchange for someone who would love her unconditionally. She got what she asked for. A fellow named Clint destined to be her soulmate, struck by a cart and died a few moments after clapping eyes on our Mavery. Poor guy. The scud of her soul is yours now. Thanks, I guess.
This one has got the soul of a man named Frakes. Lived in a village near Neverwinter. Hit hard by the worst hunger in a thousand years. Frakes called out for help. Prayed for his children to have meat to eat. Zariel answered. Made old Frakes grow flesh upon flesh after flesh. His wee ones had all the meat they could stomach. He should have known. Better to die a thousand deaths than let Zariel into your life. Last one's got the soul of a little boy named Ongir. Eight years old. He liked playing in the sun with his friends. That's all I know. That's all? That's all. Oh, and this slip of scratch. Well, thanks, Flo. Hearing a bunch of desperate horror has ruined my day, which I suppose was the point. You got three soul coins out of the bargain, didn't you? I'd quit whinging if I were you. I did my part. That means our business is done. Unless you've got actual gold to hand.
Better hope you can handle what I've got. So, hey, we've got this soul coin, right? Thing is, I think I can use it. My engine can, anyway. Zariel used to top me up every now and again when she wanted me to go after an especially wicked target. Well, it's not the kind of thing I'd like to squander, see? A soul coin is a person, in a way. A lost person, mind. But something that can be put to a really good use. Fuck yes! Now I just need something to sink my teeth into. Eventually. I'm ready. Whatever it takes. Assume nothing. Is that blood? No, never mind. A long way to go still. to be alive. Things have stayed interesting. Don't burn yourself. Eager for battle. What a charmer. So that's progress. My face protects me. All right. What now? Don't waste a step. It was the drow's fault. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Us? No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She... Enough. A blast of mental energy washes over you, filling the room. Your tadpole squirms, urging you to obey. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You do not deserve to live. Mercy, General! Please! General Thorm, 
let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the General how the goblins served our cause. You. I'm glad someone noticed. I'm sure they were very enthusiastic. But the zeal without efficacy is for children, not servants. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? Creaking old bag of shit! I'm so sorry, my lord. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. <laughs> Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Or better yet, Put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! <laughs> oh, praise the Absolute! And praise her, true soul! You did the right thing. I'm sure those nasties deserved a bollocking, but we're no executioners. Let's go see what Zarel makes of it. The seat of the Absolute's power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. We must learn what fuels his power. General Thorm's prayers and preparations must not be disturbed. The rooftop is off limits to everyone. Even you, Disciples Rel? Everyone. Keep watch and ensure that nobody passes. Excellent timing, true soul. The goblins. Tell me how they suffered. No. Better yet. Show me. Her mind enters yours abruptly, flickering across your memories in a blaze of excitement. She sees the goblins walking free, and a burning rage fans across your mind like wildfire. Explain yourself.
very pragmatic, but very boring. Let's see if there's anything interesting in this brain of yours. She parts the folds of your mind again, touching your wants and hopes, tasting them. Every emotion soaks into her mind's palate, but there is purpose to her exploration. She is searching for proof of your faith. opened her mind fully, expecting to find adoration and faith. Your fury hits her like a bolt in the throat. Who are you? Gods! No time to waste. Happy place. Hee <laughs> 
<laughs> Boom! Another fight. Let's go. I received no words that a true soul is to ascend. You will turn around. Should the general learn you breached his private chapel, he will not be so merciful. Do you think yourself so important, true soul? Until Zrel says otherwise, you are beneath the Absolute's notice. Well, you will not be the first true soul the General has thrown from this spot. Survival is all that matters.
Soldier. So much for peace. die. We must find what gives him his invulnerability before we strike. Nothing important is ever easy. Need to stay focused. Right, but it gets to it. And out of here! find out what's keeping him from death. Talk to me. Let's pop this open. Time to push my luck again. Can't slow down. I will ascend. Make way. Let's cut your fire, baby. Give in. 
swift as my feet can carry me. Let's end this. Have to keep going. second. Oh, I got it. Okay, good. Okay, that's fine. everything. before me.
And I saved this during a fight, actually. I can. Because I will do that next time, actually. I will look up how to defeat them. Because this is fucking bullshit. With this, I am ending this episode, and I wish you all a good day, and goodbye.